Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today's video is very important to me because it's about my best friend. For those of you that know me or Daisy personally, this is basically gonna be one big explanation about everything that happened between us. But for those of you that are new to my channel, our story takes place at a very different time in my life when I was in sixth grade. I met Daisy when I was about 11 years old. We met at a point in my life when I didn't know that I needed a person like her, but we became best friends instantly. Every day after school, I would go over to her house. Almost every single day. We did all the normal things best friends would do. Watch scary movies, eat junk food, grab Starbucks coffee. But there was one thing we did that I did with no one else. We made videos together. Very cringy and pointless videos, but nonetheless, they made me very happy. Looking back on it, creating videos has always been my hobby. I know Daisy wasn't really into it, but she always went along with it every time I pressed record, and that's really cool. Daisy was the type of friend I wasn't afraid to be myself with. I never had to hold back. I could be loud and annoying and she would just match my same energy. We could come home from school one day and just decide to take a nap until my mom picked me up. Some days would be the opposite and we'd just go in her room, blast music, and dance around like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> she was the one person who knew how to make me laugh until I peed my pants. It happened twice, I'm not proud of it, but that's just how funny our conversations were. The one thing I love the most about our friendship was that she always knew how to make me laugh and she didn't even have to try that hard. She was like a sister to me. There were times we'd come home and talk for hours about nothing in particular, and then there were times when we would talk about our future. We used to look at colleges together and narrow down our options, and then from there, we would look at certain cities and see how expensive rent was for a two bedroom apartment. We made lists upon lists of ground rules for said apartment and we even sketched out all the possibilities of room decor. We were actually gonna move in together last year, but a lot of things happened in between and I'm getting ahead of myself. Daisy and I basically grew up together. She was there for my first kiss, my first heartbreak, my second heartbreak, when I started crushing on Endry, when I started dating Endry, and every little detail in between. We went to football games together, studied together, and eventually we graduated together. We saw each other slowly transform into the people we are today, and if you've had a friend for that long, you know how special that feels. After we graduated high school, we actually did end up going to the same college. For the first year of our college careers, we spent a lot of time together. It wasn't every day, bro, but <laughs> it was a lot more than we spend together now. I uploaded a 30 minute video about eight months ago telling the very long story of how I planned on moving with some of my friends to a new apartment to be closer to school and uh, how all of that blew up in my face. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, I will link it down below. Anyway, Daisy was obviously one of those people that I was gonna move in with. To make a long story short, I didn't end up moving in those apartments because the owners are scammers and they're still trying to get me to pay for an apartment that I never stepped foot in. If you're looking for an update on that story, they actually sent me an email a couple days ago telling me that they finally sent my account to collections. So, that's great. But if you look closely at the description of what they're charging me for, they're charging me $1,290 for two months rent and a cancellation fee of $573 with 75 cents. So let me get this straight. You charged me for two months rent that I never utilized. And then you proceeded to charge me for a cancellation fee for not moving in with you guys. On December 4th, when I literally told you the second you did not approve my application, bitch, that I did not want to move in with you anymore. I did not want to do business with you and I was not going to live in your apartment and you're charging me $573. Okay, that makes sense. Just explaining that to you makes my blood boil, but Back to the real story. I wasn't able to move into those apartments, but Daisy and another friend of mine did. They've been living there since September of last year and very slowly we started to hang out less and less. We would text every now and then, but after a few months of her living out there, the text just sort of stopped coming. I wanna throw this out there though really quickly. Being too busy to hang out with your friends is okay. Life gets in the way sometimes and sometimes you have to put your needs, your studies, your work, your future goals first. I totally get that. But we stopped texting altogether and we just stopped checking in and I never want to have to be too busy for the people that are the closest to me. Since she moved up there, I haven't visited once. I got in touch with her about two months ago and I let her know how I felt about our friendship at that point in time. 
Hey, I've been thinking about you lately. Life's too short to beat around the bush, so I'm just gonna cut the BS. Our friendship really means a lot to me. You were there for me when I didn't have anybody. You were my escape when things got ugly at home. This past year though, I feel like I don't even know who you are. I don't know what's going on in your brain. I don't know what feelings linger in your heart. I don't know what's stressing you out at the moment. I don't even know your boyfriend's name. The fact that I don't know the details of anything going on in your life right now hurts me. I know you're starting your own life out there, and that's fine. But are we really just going to become one of those stories that ends by saying, we just stopped talking? And I'm not blaming this shit all on you, by the way. We both stopped checking in on each other. But I don't know. This is just how I feel. Just laying it out on the table for you. Hope you're doing well. Text me when you can. We talked very briefly about the situation and moved on. Since those texts, we've messaged each other here and there, but... We haven't met up in person yet. Here's where the fun part kicks in. A month ago, I asked her if she'd be down to film a reuniting video with me, and she said yes. I knew I wanted to make this video special because Daisy is special to me. She always has been. It's just taken us almost losing our friendship for me to realize it. So for this past month, I've been planning this series that you're watching right now. If you're new to my channel, I hope I can paint this story for you the best way that I know how. So tomorrow, I'm traveling an hour and 30 minutes away <laughs> to reunite with my best friend. I can't lose this though, she knows way too much about me. And we had a really embarrassing sweet 16 together. So there's that, that kind of like ties us together for life. I mean, with that, like we have to stay friends. Like our friendship is set in stone, you know? It's just, you're stuck with me now, okay? I hope you guys will come on this journey with me. And as for you, Daisy Dukes, I'll see you tomorrow.